Sam's called in yet, and if he hasn't, tell him to keep paging him one after another. He might be in a bad reception area. How's he doing? Oh, not good. His CVP's gone up to 12, and his BP's down to 85 over 50. Right, I'm going to open the base of the wound to try and ease the pressure. Do you think one of the grass has come off? Oh, one of the sutures could have come loose. You don't do things by halves, do you, Al? Pliers. Come on, hurry. That's it. Well, sponge. Yep, and another one, quick. That's it. Can you scrub, please? I'm going to need another set of hands here. Okay. He's definitely tamponading. Yep. Okay. Sucker, come on, quick as you can. I can't see a damn thing. Oh, BP? 75 over 40. CVP? Uh, 14. Sucker, come on, stay with me. Sorry. Travis! James. Not holding you up, I hope. Take your time. Reckon you can match it? Just practicing. Well, what for, if it's not to be better than somebody else? Oh, that's right, I forgot. You're not the competitive type. Or are you? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Hey, good man. Let's see what you can do. Well, tell him to ring at the golf club and send someone out to look for him. Oh, and find out how long theta two's going to be. Come on, more suction. That's it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, now how's he doing? Oh, uh, CVP's come down to 12 and BP's back up to 90 over 60. Oh, it's about time. Okay, you can start up a debutamine drip and put up another bottle of Hemaxil. I mean, you have to be prepared to go that extra mile and some in your studies and your practice and the pressure you put yourself under. Now, add to that someone who's really only GP material to begin with and you've got a recipe for total disaster. Oh, no. I don't need to be that. What? Well, it looks like he's bleeding from behind the heart. Probably one of the grafts anastomoses. How the hell am I supposed to get in there to suture that? He needs to go back into theatre, he needs to go on bypass, and he needs a cardiac surgeon. It brings a whole new meaning to the phrase holding someone's life in your hands. And if you're not up to it, <laughs> sorry. No worries. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, I've got to go. You know, Judy calls. Uh, listen, Andy is uh, booked for the afternoon, so... Uh, uh, why don't you carry on, and I'll try and catch up on the back nine if I can, yep. Now, time's crucial here. When I left the heart to suture the bleeder, it's going to cut off its cardiac output. Well, that bypass is only going to last a minute, maybe two at the most. Oh, Donald, thank goodness you're here. Well, why? What's, what's happening? Something's going wrong. I'm scared. Kelly's in there with him now. She's, she's operating. We can't find the surgeon. It's easier on bypass with the heart still. God, we're gonna have to be quick. Bibi's falling. How low? What's his rhythm? 75 over 36. Sign is tacky. Damn, he's going into half block. We're gonna lose him. Come on, Al! Oh, Dr. McLaren! Don't hold him up now. Bleeding from one of the graft anastomies. Oh, I've put in a stitch, but I haven't tied because his BP's dropping. He hasn't had cardiac output now for 90 seconds. Could have been worse. Connect him up to the pacemaker and start pacing at 90 beats. Come on, quickly, please. Now, what have we got in here? Well, I've had to try and rotate the heart to get in under... Make life difficult for yourself, don't you? You should have put your hand around the heart and turned it anti-clockwise. Right, now, there's no other complications apart from the bleeding? No. Right, then what's taken so long? Well, for a start, he lost two litres of blood. Uh, all right, here, give me a go. Now, with that bleeding, you should have known it was arterial and not venous. So this is the first place you should have looked. Instead, you've left the kidneys with an unnecessarily prolonged decrease in blood pressure, so we have to watch out for renal failure. There you go. OK, now, will someone remind me to have the switchboard gently persuaded that the main purpose in life is to answer the phones? I was sitting in the car park for five minutes after I got the page trying to get through. Some clown had parked me in and all I could get from Summer Bay Hospital was an engaged signal or the phone ringing and no one answered it. Now, I'd be screaming blue bloody murder if I was trying to get some information regarding a patient. Signs. Uh, CVP's back down to 10 and BP's up to 90 over 60. Ha 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 ha. Yes, yes, yes. That's more like it. I don't look so shattered. You didn't do that badly. What's wrong? 
What's happened? He's going to be fine. You should be able to see him in about half an hour or so. Oh. Now, can I get someone to get you anything? You want a cup of tea or coffee? No, no, well, what went wrong? The vein that we grafted onto the artery, there was some bleeding. Now, in most cases, this doesn't happen, but uh, then again, it's not altogether unheard of. All right, but the main thing is, we got to it in time. You were so quick. Um, Kelly was in there for so long that I, I thought when no, you came out, just now had a bit. It's good news. It's good news. He's going to be fine. Now, we're going to have to keep an eye on him for the next 12 hours or so, but we're not expecting any further complications. Thank you. And, like I said, I'm just doing my job. Now, I want you to sit down there and have a good cry, let it all out. Now, I'll be along in a few minutes and I'll take you in to see Alpha. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Elsa, how is he? They say he's going to be fine. Oh, that's wonderful. Is he allowed any visitors? No, not for a while. The nurses are with him at the moment. Oh, right. oh look, come and sit down. You must be exhausted. Can I get you a tea or a coffee or something? Oh, no, thanks, love. I don't think I could fit any more in. I must have had three cups in between when they brought him out of the theatre and McLaren arrived. Three? Well, how long before McLaren arrived? Oh, felt like hours. It was really only 20 minutes. Well, 22, actually. I counted every second. Alice, I'm going to pop out for a cup of tea. You still want one? Oh, Kelly, did you want a well, not a whole one. Well, I, I won't keep you very long. Uh, listen, something Alsa said has worried me. She said it was 20 minutes before McLaren got back here. It was a while, yeah. Well, I know things might have changed since I was a nurse, but a 20-minute response time to a post-op emergency is more than a while. There's one other thing that hasn't changed, Ms... Uh... Mrs. Ross. Uh, what would that be? The doctors not having to answer to nurses. I see. Well, what about doctors having to answer to patients and their families, hmm? Some things never change, do they? She's a friend of mine. I, I don't want to get caught in the middle of this. In that case, you'll be pleased to let her know, should she ask again, and I'm sure she will, that Mr. Stewart's prognosis is for full and speedy recovery, 20-minute search and suture missions notwithstanding. But don't worry. I'm quite prepared to back you up, should they ask any questions. Hmm? Into the world to me, you know, he really does. I know what I would have done if I'd lost him. Thank God McLaren turned up when he did. It's quite obvious Kelly didn't have a clue what she was doing. Alice, I, look, I know I wasn't here, but I do know how these things work. The surgeon is always supposed to stay in the hospital after the operation, just in case. There's no way known it should have taken him 20 minutes to respond. I really feel that if it hadn't been for Kelly, there's a pretty good chance that Alf wouldn't be here. <laughs> 